they were using both perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors in the lesson. So actually, I'm going to start with the vocabulary before I go to the theorem here. And starting right here with concurrent lines. Concurrent lines are three lines that intersect at one point. So three lines that intersect at one point. So concurrent lines would look like this, just like three lines that intersect at one point. Then the next word, point of concurrency, which you may predict is just that point that it intersects. And that's right. The point of intersection of three concurrent lines. So point of concurrency would be this point right here. Okay, and then we have circumcenter and in center. Um, and this is where we bring in the perpendicular bisector and angle bisector. So a circumcenter is where three perpendicular lines intersect, or perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors intersect. And then in center is where three angle bisectors intersect. Okay, so now you got that done. We're going to go up to this here, the circumcenter theorem right here. So remember, circumcenter is where the perpendicular bisectors intersect. So over here in this picture, we're going to kind of draw this up. So perpendicular bisectors, we're going to make orange. So remember, the perpendicular bisectors are perpendicular to each side. Right here. Um, these guys make the 90 degree angle with the side. And then they also bisect each of those lines. So um, this would be the same length as this side. This here would be the same length as this side. And then here, this would be the same length as this. Okay, so the point of intersection is right here is the circumcenter. So the green is actually the circumcenter. It's where your perpendicular bisectors intersect. And then when that happens, this circumcenter is the same distance to all the vertices of the triangle. So this is the same distance to point B, to point A, and then to point C. And then this yellow line, which keep this here. So this here, I'm going to use four dashes, which we don't usually use. But four dashes equals all the four dashes. So all the yellow are equal in length. OK, and then the next theorem is the in-center theorem. So I'm moving down, you got that down. I'm gonna move here to in center. Now in center is where your angle bisectors intersect. So we're gonna highlight the angle bisectors orange. So those are the lines that break the angle into two equal parts. So this angle would be equal to this one, this angle equal to this one, and this angle is equal to this one. So then the point where it meets is called the in-center.
And then what's interesting about this is when you have the incenter where all the angle bisectors intersect, the distance actually to the sides is the same. So if you took a line and drew it to the side, just like a, the altitude of a, the little triangle, these, this distance would be the same as each other. So this is equal to this, and this is equal to all three of those. So the in-center is equidistant to all the sides, and circumcenter is equidistant to all the vertices. I know that's kind of a lot to take in. We're going to practice it on the next page as well. Um, also, just to point this out if you need it, I have this concept summary here. And this has more than we've learned so far. But so far, we've done, or we just did circumcenter and in center. If you just look at the back of the notes, there's this table. And it has all of them that we'll learn. Um, but for right now, we have circumcenter and in center, and it says perpendicular bisector. It shows what it looks like. S says the circumcenter, it explains it, and it shows the example right here, and then also for in center right here as well. So we haven't gotten to the bottom two yet, but this chart can be valuable just so you know it's there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the practice problems on 6.2, and I'm going to actually.